A lot of people want a piston-driven AR-15 rifle for a lot of reasons, because there's some advantages there, but they don't want to pay the premium price. Well, Stag Arm has an answer for that. Now, Mark, as president of Stag Arms, you addressed the price of piston guns. How'd you do that? Well, what we did is we knew we were going to go into high production with a high demand for this type of rifle. So what we did is we just passed on the costs of the high production savings to the customer. And this is priced in line with a regular gas infringement rifle. So you're going to pay pretty close to the same for the piston gun as you on the standard gas impingement gun. That's right. You were telling me earlier that you actually just looked at it and said, look, it doesn't cost that much more to make it. Let's pass that savings along. Exactly. When we looked at the price and saw what we had to add, mm -hmm. we just said, let's just add what we have to add, nothing more. And um, the customers seem to really appreciate that. You may talk about how a gas impingement system works versus how a pist uh, this piston system works here. Well, the gas impingement works by pushing gas through the gas tube into the receiver and um, ejecting the, the casing, okay. where this one, the gas comes up, it vents here, but not before it pushes the rod all the way back to uh, move yeah, the it's action. It's working the action. The big difference being in the original design, gas impingement system, mm -hmm. that you have hot gases with all the byproducts of combustion, of soot, unburned powder, everything else, actually going into your action. Right, and it's very hot in there, and it bakes on there, and it makes it very difficult to clean. Where this one runs very cool, which also, whatever um, cartridge powder you have left there, it's much easier to clean. Ah, so it's not baked on. Right. Okay, other features you have on this, and this is your Model 8, right? That's right. Okay, the sights. These are really good looking sights. Yeah, they are. These, these diamond sights are extremely easy to use, very accurate, and they flip down so they get right out of your way if you're going to go ahead and put an optic on there. Right, so you put the optic on, and if you want to yank the optic off, or if something happens, it goes down, flip these back up, and you can keep right on shooting. Right. Okay. Uh, I noticed that you have an adjustment up here, basically an on-off switch for the piston system. Why? Suppressors. People like to shoot suppressors. It's becoming more and more popular. Sure. And um, by shutting it off, um, it's uh, completely quiet. So by shutting it off, it's a single shot, so the action won't open. Right. When the action opens, the gas comes out, you get more noise. So if you want the quietest gun possible, you shut that off and run it as a single shot. That's right. And I know a lot of people are buying suppressors. They're fun. They're neighborly. Yes. You know, it doesn't cause a lot of noise. And some folks are using these for hunting hogs where legal with suppressors. They want the quietest rig they can get. And speaking of that, you said that you can actually special order uppers in other calibers. Yes, if you wanted to order this from the factory, you can call in, and we make this available in 6.8 millimeter as well. Okay, and you can get a piston upper that will go on the lower that you already have. That's right, um, just two pins, push this upper off, put it right on your existing lower, and you have a piston upper. All right, the Stag Model 8 piston gun at an affordable price. Piston guns are all about running cool and running clean, but how cool do they run? What we have here is a regular gas impingement gun from Stag, and then we have the piston gun. And so what we're going to do is run a mag through this with our little handy dandy uh, laser thermometer and see how hot the bolts get and what the difference is. Right now, this bolt is 106. So let's put a mag through here and see what we get. Let's see. One thirty-four. Obviously, it got hotter as we shot. Now let's test this piston gun. Currently, one o eight. Been sitting in the sun a little bit. Now let's run a mag through it. See what we get. Okay, here we go. One oh six. Okay, that's uh, that's running cool. He actually, with the bolt moving in the air, going by it, it actually cooled off from what it was just sitting there without uh, being shot. So obviously, a piston gun truly does run a lot cooler than a gas impingement gun.
affordable piston gun from Stag, you gotta check this out.